Okay, uh, I think we're going to finish up graphing trig today. Um, I don't know. Usually we go deeper with trig or graphing, but it's been a weird year, hasn't it? So what do you do when you have to graph more than one item? Or change more than one item would be a better way to say it. So here you got a period change and you're shifting up. For this, when you have a period change and you got an amplitude change, well, you always do the period change first. So period change, we go 2 pi over 2. Now, a couple of you turned in your homework, uh, about eight people so far. Remember, it's due tonight. And uh, some of you graphed it all in degrees. If you do that on the test and the directions say graph and radiant, it's wrong. So what you could do is graph it in degrees uh, if you don't like radians, and then do the conversion chart of pi over 180 and just convert it. But anyways, we have pi... So we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have a negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Now, if you have more than one thing to change, you always change the period first. Always. So I'm going to cut this up into fours. Pi is three of these, so that would be all about here, I guess. So we're going to break it up. A fourth would be pi over 4. Uh, then we got 2 pi over 4, which is pi over 2. And 3 pi over 4. Mmm, pi. Now, sine, if you want to draw the basic graph to start, it's okay. I won't take points off. Some teachers, I don't. Some teachers do. So that's our basic sine with 2x, uh, pi. Now I'm going to add 2 to everything. So it'll be up 2, up 2, uh, up 2, up 2, and up 2. So we. So notice it did not stretch. It just shifted. Everything went up. Now this one. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So we got a period change. Always do that first. So it's 2 pi divided by a half. So that would be 4 pi's. Oh, 4 pi's. Mm. So a pi is 3 of these. So that'd be about there. So then 2 pi. So notice it's stretching out about the x-axis. 3 pi, 4 pi, mmm. Now, cosine, if you remember, starts at 1. Uh, something's wrong with my iPad. And it goes to 0, negative 1, 0, 1. Now, negative 3, we're not shifting down, we're stretching down. So, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3, so it's actually going about the x-axis because it's negative and then stretching 3. 0, 0, uh, negative 1 would be 3, 0, and then negative 3. So, we... So... That's if you have more than one thing to change. Always do period, then change the amplitude, and then a shift. Now, what if we're subtracting a number from the x? And we'll keep it in radians. Well, does anyone remember back when we did parallel and we did, uh, see, not parallel, sorry, circles, parabolas, ellipses. Does anyone remember what happens when you subtracted a number to the x? Good job, it moved to the right. If you add a number, it moved everything to the left. 
So, uh, let's see. This will be pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. And remember, sine is doink, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0. So, I'm subtracting, so that means everything goes to the right that many units. So here's negative pi over 2. That's here. So I'm going to move everything this way. Oh, I thought I, I can't find my marker. Oh, well. I'm going to move it this way. So this pi over 2, pi over 2, pi over 2, pi over 2. Pi over 2. So it becomes we... Oh, mercy. There we go. So it becomes the reciprocal of sine. Excuse me, of cosine. So it's a negative cosine. It flipped. So see if you can figure this out for me, please. Y equals cosine of x minus uh, pi over 2. Figure it out, figure it out, figure it out. Freeze me and then figure it out. Oops, got everything below. Okay, if you remember cosine is doink. Doink, 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 doink. So that means on this side, it'd be here at negative pi over 2. If we move it this way, notice it's this. Oh, oh. Does that look familiar? Whoa. So if you subtract... Uh, pi over 2 or 90 degrees from x on cosine, it becomes sine. If you add pi over 2 or 90 degrees to the x on a sine, I don't know what it, my iPad is like. Ugh. It's doing weird things. Sorry. Uh, it becomes cosine if you shift it this many degrees. So it says it's out of phase 90 degrees. Well, anyways, I'm not giving you homework tonight because I gave you homework yesterday to do. Might want to review. I believe the test will be Thursday if everything goes well. It will be graphing in degrees. Might want to review that. Uh, changing radians degrees and degrees to radians. Finding the trig functions of radians, so like the sine of pi. And then graphing in radians. So it's going to be a little bit bigger than what we've had lately. Um, but we only have three weeks left. Less than three weeks. Holy cheese. Hey, have a good day.